Joseph Athanase Gaston Paul Dumer, commonly known as Paul Dumer, French pronunciation, P. L. Dum, the 22nd of March 1857 to the 7th of May 1932, was the president of France from the 13th of June 1931 until his assassination on the 7th of May 1932. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Dumer was born in Aurillac, in the Cantal département, in France on of March 1857. Alumnus of the Conservatoire National des Arts et Métiers, he became a professor of mathematics at Mende in 1877. In 1878 Dumer married Blanche Richel, whom he had met at college. They had eight children, four of whom were killed in the First World War including the French air ace René Dumer. From 1879 until 1883 Dumer was professor at Remiremont, before leaving on health grounds. He then became chief editor of Courier de Laine, a French regional newspaper. Initiated into Freemasonry in 1879, at L'Union Fraternelle Lodge, he became Grand Secretary of Grand Orient de France in 1892. He made his debut in politics as chef de cabinet to Charles Floquet, when Floquet was president of the chamber in 1885. In 1888, Dumer was elected radical deputy for the Department of Ain. Defeated in the general elections of September 1889, he was elected again in 1890 by the arrondissement of Auxerre. He was briefly Minister of Finance of France 1895 when he tried without success to introduce an income tax. Dumer was Governor General of French Indochina from 1897 to 1902. Upon his arrival the colonies were losing millions of francs each year. Determined to put them on a paying basis he levied taxes on opium, wine and the salt trade. The Vietnamese, Cambodians and Laotians who could or would not pay these taxes, lost their houses and land, and often became day laborers. He established Indochina as a market for French products and a source of profitable investment by French businessmen. Dumer set about outfitting Indochina, especially Hanoi, the capital, with modern infrastructure befitting property of France. Tree-lined avenues and a large number of French colonial buildings were constructed in Hanoi during his governance. The Long Bien Bridge and the Grand Palais in Hanoi were among large-scaled projects built during his term. The bridge was originally named after him. The palace was destroyed by airstrikes toward the end of World War II. The bridge survived, became a well-known landmark and target for U.S. pilots during the Vietnam War. After returning from French Indochina, Dumer was elected by Lan to the chamber as a radical. He refused, however, to support the ministry of Émile Combes, and formed a radical dissident group, which grew in strength and eventually caused the fall of the ministry. He then served as president of the Chamber of Deputies a post equivalent to the Speaker of the House of Commons from 1902 to 1905. Dumer became Minister of Finance of France again in 1925 when Louis Lucher resigned. He then served as President of the French Senate from 1927 until the 1931 presidential election. He was elected President of the French Republic on 13 May 1931, defeating the better-known Aristide Briand, and replacing Gaston Domergue. Assassination. On 6 May 1932, Paul Dumer was in Paris at the opening of a book fair at the Hotel Solomon de Rothschild, talking to the author Claude Farrer. Suddenly several shots were fired by Paul Gorguloff, a mentally unstable Russian émigré. Two of the shots hit Dumer, at the base of the skull and in the right armpit, and he fell to the ground. Claude Farrer wrestled with the assassin before the police arrived. Dumer was rushed to hospital in Paris, where he died at 4.37 a.m. on 7 May. He is the only French president to die of a gunshot wound. Writings As an author he is known by his L'Indochine Française and Le Livre de Mes Fils See also List of finance ministers of France Politics of France